In this video, I will show you how I attached helicopter rotors to the oil pile from my last video, and then demonstrate that it can actually generate lift. I've always wondered what useful machine Hero Alexandria could have made using his steam engine. A flying machine would have been amazing if he had known it was possible. What if he did it, and we simply haven't discovered it yet? Okay, this is the Eola pile that I made with helicopter uh, rotors attached, uh, RC helicopter rotors. And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail here just to show you basically how I put this together. I highly encourage you to watch my last video. There will be a link at the end of this that shows you how I, uh, I made this device itself, the Eola pile. Um, but first of all, let's point out, this is on a digital top-loading uh, balance. Uh, right now, I haven't teared it or anything. Um, but if you push down, see it's reading 2.1 grams, which doesn't mean anything. Let's, let's try to tear it here. Go to roughly zero. If you put weight on it, see you get a positive number. This is reading in grams. If you lift weight off of it, it goes negative. A negative sign appears. That's how I can tell if I'm getting lift. Because when this thing's spinning, it's losing water, but it's also generating lift by the rotors. At least that's the idea. We'll find out if, that, if it actually does that. Uh, I'd be surprised if this has the horsepower to turn this thing. But uh, So we'll take a little closer look at this in just a second. Okay. Um, in the original Eola pile, my last video, I had a pop-off valve here. I took that out because this doesn't seem to build up that much pressure, but you, I still stay away from it because it could be dangerous. But I replaced it with a quarter-inch brass, just MBT plug. I took that plug and I drilled a hole in it for one quarter, 20 threads, and had an stain, extra stainless bolt laying around. I just uh, cut off the uh, head of it and tapered this just to give it a smooth surface uh, to turn in the, in the uh, holder that I made here and uh, but uh, this right here is a piece of paint stick it's a large large paint stirrer okay um, I just cut a piece off of it this is one that I started working on didn't work out too well but you can see where I tried to uh, sand off an angle of attack for the rotor pitch and I ended up what I ended up with was about 11 to 12 degrees on this the device I actually made. And I, I made this thing out of wood. That's it here, this gray object. Um, and coated it with JB Weld steel just to toughen it up. That stuff really uh, is pretty good. And then drilled some holes in it for the rotors and for this to go through and hold on there. Now, on the bottom, similar thing with a bolt. Um, see, I just took a, uh, in this case, stainless, doesn't have to be grounded off to a point for a, that minimizes uh, turning resistance. And, uh, and this, um, I just took a piece of square channel I happened to lay around. There's different ways of doing this. You can't see it very well down there, but I took a drill bit and just drilled a partial hole, which left a conical depression. That's kind of a resting spot for the bottom of that pointed bolt. And that's what gives it a spot to hold it with minimal turning resistance. One other thing I should mention, this is a, just a piece of ceramic tile I had left uh, laying around uh, from a uh, uh, floor uh, recovering project. I used ceramic tile uh, just with some JB Weld plastic to, uh, to glue that on there. I could use any kind of glue, really. But since I'm putting heat on this, I wanted something that was heat resistant. So that's the reason for that. Just a little piece of a one eighth inch brass pipe and a two before to help support the top spindle. Let me point out these uh, rotors. These are just, uh, I believe they're fiberglass reinforced plastic RC helicopter rotors. They're 325 millimeters long. It's about 12, a little over 12 and three quarter inches. Only reason I got them, I found them on Amazon. They were the cheapest thing I could find. Just thought, well, let me just get something relatively cheap. They're about $15 or $16, or something like that. And then uh, you can see the, the airfoil 
the camber really is the same on both sides. Um, so it's symmetrical. So the only way it's going to get any lift is if there's a pitch or a angle of attack, which you can see from the holder um, that I did sand that in there. It's going to be about 11 to 12 degrees. Balance is close to being zero, but not exactly. We're going to lose weight, though, as it sprays steam out. We're just going to see if we can see if it lifts up any. I doubt we'll see that, but we'll give it a try. I started this with 50 milliliters of distilled water. actually turning the rotors. Now the weight's going negative on the balance, but some of that's loss of water. Okay, now if it's true lift, that number should get a lot smaller when we stop it. That's going less negative. How about that? Okay. Hey, you're on a tornado watch. Oh, thank you. Okay, bye. All right, bye. If I let every tornado watch and warning we get around here stop me, I uh, wouldn't get much done because we get a lot of them. Um, we got down to about a negative 20 just over that on grams. Um, if for the when it was at the maximum speed as it slowed down you'll notice the weights dropped down to just over 11. that difference is really the lift because this negative 11 now we got is really the loss of water so we'll try this again i dug out the crawl space and created a storm shelter so if we have to head for that we will but uh, just wanted to point out we got about that 11 to 12 degree pitch here and uh, I actually was surprised this thing was rotating at all and it did appear to get some lift, but we're going to repeat it just to uh, see what we get again. Okay, I started this with about 50 milliliters of uh, water in the, uh, the oil pile. I haven't added any more, so it's a little bit lower in weight than it was at the beginning. But it's still is working fine. We got down to about a minus, roughly a minus 27 grams. Um, that's, our, it's a combination of loss of water plus lift. And that number will uh, decrease. It's actually becoming less negative as the lift stops, as it stops rotating. We still have the loss of water. So there's a few grams of lift there. The oil pile is still warm. It's quite stabilized. It'll just, uh, a little less than 21 grams, about 20, roughly 22 grams. Um, we'll heat it up, spin it up again. Uh, as you can see, the steam blowing out, we'll be losing weight due to water, but we're also getting a lift, which affects how negative that number is. And uh, we'll get it sped up and take a look at it and watch it as uh, we stop applying heat. up to about 38, 39, 40, okay, 40 grams, negative 40 grams of lift. It's cooling down, the water stopped. It's already um, becoming less negative, which means that's now the lift decreasing. No more water spraying out.
If it was, it'd still be giving an even greater negative number. I'm actually extremely pleased uh, this homemade Eola pile could spin those helicopter rotors at all. I didn't think that it really had enough horsepower to do that. It would obviously have to be significantly optimized to spin them enough to actually fly, uh, which this little device is a long way from that. But anyway, I thought this was very interesting. An interesting challenge would be to say, okay, how can I improve this, come up with something where it could actually get enough, you know, the 2,000 RPM or whatever it would take to actually fly. That'd be an interesting project. Okay, it's rotating pretty fast. I think it might be maxed out at about 55, 56. We're going to take the heat off. 57.8, 56.8. It's slowing down, so we're losing lift. The water loss has stopped. No question, it, it generates lift, which it should. Rotating helicopter rotors should generate some lift. Isn't that interesting? Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, click on the round anisotropic plus subscribe button and uh, check out our other links and like the video. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.